you are welcome to today's video before i continue today's video i would like you to answer me in the comment section i have a question for you all and i would like you to drop your opinion in the comment section below let's keep this conversation popping i would be in the comment section below to answer each and every one of you the question goes thus would you rather buy products from vendors with long hair or vendors with thick hair or vendors with short hair or vendors with bald head or vendors with long thick and healthy hair please i want to check something leave your answers and thoughts in the comment section below does that really matter when trying to get products for your hair let me know all of that in the comment section below need to wash your hair anytime you apply this oil that we're about to make in this video this diy hair growth oil is a living hair and scalp oil it should be left in your hair if you have thin hair bald hair stunted hair growth stagnant growth your hair is shedding and breaking you should try this hair growth oil as a natural relaxed permed or color treated since you should invest in products that work this extra potent alopecia hair growth oil is designed to stop hair fall breakage itchiness and prevent dandruff while promoting healthy hair growth and strengthening the hair follicles so if you experience low hair growth excessive shedding breakage and thinning you need to make and focus on this hair oil focus it on your scalp use it to massage your scalp day and night please ensure you apply sparingly to begin grab a jar like so make sure all apparatus that you're using are well sterilized and my first ingredient for today's recipe is rosemary dry rosemary leaves if you have itchy scalp use rosemary it keeps irritants away from skin and it takes away itchiness the strong anti-inflammatory properties of rosemary reduce inflammation and redness associated to eczema psoriasis and dermatitis rosemary helps with hair thickening and growth of your hair so for the proportion i'm making use of one tablespoon of dry rosemary leaves for my second ingredient i have fenugreek fenugreek is a rich source of protein and iron and as we know protein and iron are both essential for healthy hair and hair growth fenugreek contains flavonoids and saponins which make the scalp an ideal and conducive environment for healthy hair you can purchase this in nigeria from nigerian markets where you have those guys selling zobo leaves you can ask them for fenugreek you can also purchase this from amazon just type fenugreek on the search bar and this will pop up for the proportion we are making use of one tablespoon of fenugreek fenugreek seeds please if you don't have fenugreek seeds you can as well use fenugreek powder it is not a must that you use fenugreek seeds because that's what i have and that's why i'm using fenugreek seeds where to buy this product all the ingredients that i'm using they are not difficult okay for my next ingredient i've got cloves it comes to natural hair growth remedies mother nature has provided us with a bountiful array of potent ingredients among them clove stands out as a powerhouse spice with numerous benefits for promoting hair growth clove is rich in eugenol a compound that promotes blood circulation when applied to the scalp clove helps increase blood flow to the hair follicles delivering essential nutrients and oxygen which encourages hair growth it contains nutrients like iron phosphorus and calcium which are vital for strengthening hair follicles and preventing hair breakage this results in thicker healthier hair that is less prone to breakage and damage for the proportion i measured out a tablespoon of clothes buds into the jar again if you don't have clothes buds feel free to use clothes powder in fact for this recipe 
I would prefer you use all powder for yours. For my carrier oil of choice, I'm using coconut oil. Please, if you don't have coconut oil, use another oil. And I know for the fact that a lot of you have one or two to say about coconut oil. Some of you believe that it dries out your hair. Others believe that it causes shedding for you. So whichever yours is, please go ahead and use any other oil that doesn't have issues with your hair for the proportion of this oil i'll be using one cup which is equivalent to 250 ml worth as you can see on the cup so moving on i poured that into the jar containing my cloves my rosemary and my fenugreek if you are an ardent subscriber to this channel please always watch my videos to the end because some of the comments that i get in my videos i don't really like them because it shows that some of you just watch few minutes of my videos and then you click out so always watch my videos to the end because as i'm demonstrating everything towards the end is for the application always know this before you come to my channel so or before you click on any of my videos always know that i always give my instructions to every recipe towards the end of the video it wouldn't make any sense if you watch about four to five minutes of about 9.40 uh, minutes video and then you come to comment section asking what is already in the video or going about doing something different from the video and expect to see results that doesn't make sense please always watch the videos to the end thank you so i'm going to set up a diy double boiler method and then i just placed my pot on fire and then poured some water to it brought to a boil just allow this to boil once it starts boiling like so then place your oil containing your rosemary, fenugreek, and cloves. In it, allow this for about 15 minutes before you turn off your heat. If you don't want the heat method, you can do the cold pressed version. In that regard, you are expected to make sure convert all the ingredients to convert all the ingredients to powder before infusing in your carrier oil of choice so once it was 15 minutes mark i turned off my heat and then transferred everything into my strainer just to strain you can see how the oil looks um, if you have the powder the oil would definitely be more cloudier it is clear a bit clear because i'm using the ingredients whole because i know some of you would definitely ask me this question that's why it's clear and that doesn't mean that the ingredients are not infused okay in this oil so this is what our oil looks like if you want your hair to be thick if you want your hair to stop breaking please up your game with scalp massages if you massage your hair with growth oil like so your hair is going to be thick i kid you not that's my number one secret i always always massage my scalp even though i'm not doing anything to my hair i would love to massage my hair with hair growth oil i love to apply sparingly because i'm not pre pooing if you're pre pooing you can flood the oil but if you're massaging you just have to apply sparingly so that you don't go about dripping oil on your head this oil can last up to six months without preservation provided you didn't introduce moisture to it that's all for today's video thank you for watching and i'll see you soon